hey y'all okay so i am back with another video and before y'all think y'all want to jump me in the comments i know i don't post on here like i should but y'all i'm ready to rock and roll okay there's that's all that needs to be said we ain't gonna say nothing more but before we get started i'm just gonna tell y'all a little about the set so we are doing a medium leo birthday set with like new and gold so we are just gonna get into that and i know that i didn't record the prep of the nails because i felt like i had like videos down in the other videos but if you want to update it video on the prep just let me know down below in the comments and i will get that done for you whatever video you want i'll get it done for you but we're just gonna just jump straight into what i'm doing because this is like a detailed voiceover so now i'm just going through and i am just cutting and clipping and um making sure that the nails are the same size if you do feel like you might foul too much you might want to cut them a little bit longer so that when you do decide to foul and you get done they'll be the actual desired length that you would like because that's happened to me before and i just feel like i went through it so y'all don't have to so after i'm going ahead and I'm making sure that all the nails are the same size i just go right in with my fine sanding man and i don't use my e-file maybe on nothing over 10 but under 15 when i'm um, fouling only because i don't want it to like take away too much of the nail too fast or something like that you just gotta find your steady pace with it but yes i just feel like it also um speeds up your time like if you're hand fouling this part too you could probably cut down some of your time with an e-file if you're comfortable with it if not you know just use your hand foul whatever works for you works for you but that's just like a little tip for um speed up your time but we are about to get into it i will be back and now that we are done shaping the nails with the e-file we're going to take the hand file and you are going to just etch the nail and blend it like you want to make sure that the nail is completely 100 percent blended you do not have to file the nail like extremely hard because it is the natural nail you just want to remove whatever glue is there and whatever like oil and shine that you see from the nail from you like maybe just holding it while you were uh, doing your e-fouling and these nail files actually come from my website at the shoploves nails.co it will be posted 
in my um, description as well so you can all get them and my whole entire website is 50% off while supplies last because we are getting ready for a rebrand so yeah so you're just going to go ahead and etch all of those all the way across and yeah so now i am going in with the prep so i use no lift nail uh primer i also have my own primer too that's very very similar but and it's not acidic but yes they both work very well they are both listed on my site as well so now that we are laying the acrylic i'm not going to go into full detail on this video but i will drop a video on just acrylic application like it will only be the video of the application process so that i can thoroughly 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 explain it to you all because i know this is a video and i'm a hands-on learner so i try to explain in the best way possible for you to understand over a youtube video unless y'all want to just come book a one-on-one -on -one, you know and fly out to me and i'll teach you i'll put the hands to work and i'll just show you what they do okay but yeah so the main part of this is to use smaller, I, as a beginner, I will use smaller beads and make sure that you shape as you go. You see me study packing the sides, you see me study like doing a um, flattening the top. You want to shape as you go. It makes it easier. You want to work smarter, not harder. So if you can already have the nails pre-shaped when you go into fouling, it will make your fouling smoother. And these are all tips as well for like to um, boost your speed. I keep looking at you 
start to move your spot nail foul in a curved motion your nails are going to round out if you hold it in a straight motion your nails are going to be straighter so it's all about how you control the foul whatever you do with that foul is however this nail will come out to look so if you want a very very straight nail you want to make sure that you hold the foul straight you want to do everything back and forth straight motions do not curve it don't curve your wrist nothing everything just straight forward baby, baby can you focus Play the broke No, we get this money So I guess I can't complain But I feel alone Even when we're alone And that don't cost a thing But I don't wanna give up Baby, I just want you to give up Baby, I've been a little better I wish you would just focus on Can you focus? Oh, 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 oh,
focus on me? Baby, can you focus on me? I use carbide bits. Most people, when they start out using e-files, they use sanding bands. But you will be able to tell the difference between a sanding band and a carbide bit when you actually use them. Sanding bands leave, like, uh, the streaky lines, residue. Carbide bits do not, in my opinion. Like, I don't. They give you a smoother finish, a smoother result. So you just want to take your e-file. And when you're doing this, I use mine on the highest RPM, which is 35, that my e-file go to. These are also listed on my site as well. And don't forget, my whole site is 50% off. Lots of supplies last. So um, you just want to make sure that you are filing the nail just smooth across. Like, it's okay to touch the nail. It's okay to feel the nail. It's okay to rub your nail, your finger down the nail to make sure that everything is all smooth sailing. But once you get the hang of it and you do it more often and do it more frequently, you will see that, um, you know, like what, what it is that you need to foul, where you need to foul, how much you need to foul, when, you know, it just, it just flows the more that you do it. So you just want to make sure, like, and if you are a beginner, you could turn the speed down a little bit if you choose to or not choose to. And I can also make a video on hand fouling if you choose to hand foul and not e-foul. So if you need that, just drop a comment below and I'll work on that for you. But other than that, we are just going to go along with this video. <laughs> doing it this is really like the final you know like the final touch of the shape so go hard or go home on this part okay you don't want to over foul though like over foul it can cause lifting it can cause your nails to um isolate from the acrylic 
what you don't want because then you said it's not gonna last so yeah once you are done with this just go ahead and you just buff and then they wash after this and you should be good and ready to go for the time This part is what I call a back foul. This is like my most important part because I just feel like without this, your nails are not like done. Like you know how when you clean up and you light a candle and that candle is the icing on top? This is like the icing on top for me. Like if your nail tag does not back foul your nail, they crooked. I don't care. Like I don't care how you put it, they are not no and i just give it think that it give it a more crisp like shape and also if you're doing this part like going in with the tip on it you can go back further to give it a more of the little flare tip look that they're doing now but that's just on request i don't do that for everybody but now that i'm going to just go in with the designer part i'm just gonna let the video play let the music play and you can follow along if you need a detailed video on anything that i do in this video make sure again that you drop a comment below and i'll get that video done for you but thanks for watching y'all and I will see y'all in the next video.
know he get this money, so I guess I can't complain But I feel alone even when I'm alone And that don't cause a thing, but I don't wanna give up Baby, I just want you to give up Baby, I've been a little better, yeah. I wish you would just focus on me Focus on me. Focus on me. 